Tay District, District 96. Welcome in to another beer review with yours truly, Nutmeg 2 Palmetto, coming to you as always from my Midland studio down in South Carolina. I have a collaboration right here in front of me, and as Wednesdays have proven theme, themical, themical, theme worthy of late, this is a beer mail beer from my good friend, the artist formerly known as at Beer for Booper. A collaboration between two Northeast powerhouses in their own right, Lock City in Stamford, Connecticut, and District 96 in Rockland County, New York, Southern New York. This is called Chamber of Secrets, of course. Very Harry Potter themed, Harry Potter worthy name. As you can see on the can, there's a hop right in the middle with the snake surrounding it as anyone who follows Harry Potter would know Chamber of Secrets, of course, was the home of the basilisk. And as a pay it forward mention to Lock City, you'll notice on the bottom of one of the snakes is a padlock. This is a 9.1% alcohol by volume, so it would categorize as a double IPA. It's got a small blurb on the back. We'll read it real quick for you. A powerful collaboration between Lock City Brewing and District 96 Chamber of Secrets is an IPA strong enough to open any lock and melt away any barrier. For this potion, we've used Idaho 7 in the Whirlpool and Dry Hops with Cashmere and Strata. Robust and flavorful, we invite you to unlock your evening with this delicious brew. Please enjoy responsibly with good company. Keep can cold and drink fresh. Use proper glassware. Well, I'm hoping a pint glass is proper glassware for a double IPA. And I'm excited to crack this open. So why don't we why don't you say we do just that? don't go why don't we take a little sniff to see what this smells like yeah so as you can see it's a nice rich orange hazy color can't exactly see my fingers through that beer get the nose very citrusy a very very slight touch piney yeah mostly citrusy with a very subtle pininess to it a lot of orange well, not a lot of orange, moderate amount of orange, moderate amount of orange. It's mostly, it's mostly that hoppy, citrusy, generic, double IPA type of aroma with a fairly noticeable orange type of note and a very, very, very subtle pininess. In any event, I'm excited to uh, take a sip of this and try it out, shall we? Cheers. Sharp. Well, this definitely has a sharp, hoppy, piney taste to it. I may or may not let it have let it age that long, let it age too long. Um, but it's definitely got a bit of, if I can, I don't recall seeing Oh, the Idaho 7, Cashmere and Strata. Now, none of those now none of those ring a bell to me as those hops I've had before, but none of them ring a bell to me as more of like a traditional West Coast kind of piney, super bitter type of hop. No, like Idaho 7 is, I, I've had that several times and it's always straight juice to me. Uh, Cashmere is pretty juicy, Strata is pretty juicy. Um, 
So none of those ring a bell to me as something that's super piney and bitter, but so maybe I just let this sit too long and the can's the great equalizer, so you would hope it wouldn't have changed too much. But that's definitely what I'm getting a lot of. I'm getting a lot of a piney hoppy bitterness to it. It's got a pretty mild finish though. It's not it's not anything that's uh, super overpowering on the back end of your taste palette. Um, nothing that stands out, uh, which is a little unfortunate because these are two breweries in the Northeast that stand out a lot. Uh, Lock City puts out a ton of great beers. Dish 96 puts out a ton of great beers. This one just kind of seems run of the mill to a lot of other people's double IPAs and that sort of thing. But it's nonetheless solid. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have an, what's the word, offensive aftertaste or anything like that. So I'll finish and enjoy it nonetheless. If you want more from me, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you're exactly when my videos drop, coming straight to you on your phone, tablet, mobile device, computer, what have you. If you want to recommend a beer to me, or maybe even send me a beer, send me a beer. Go ahead and email me, nutmeg2palmetto at gmail.com. We'll chit chat and figure out all the fine particulars of that type of arrangement. If this isn't enough of me for you, I know I'm probably a pretty overwhelming personality myself, but if it's not for whatever reason, go ahead and follow me on my social media channels, TikTok and Instagram at nutmeg2palmetto. Find me there for all my regular daily insanity. Social media is not your thing, but you love this whole craft beer thing, go ahead and subscribe and download to the Upstate Beer Boys podcast. My co-host and I travel all around the Palmetto State to breweries, to tap rooms. We get the stories of the entrepreneurs, the owners, the brewers out there into the public sphere. So you get a little bit of extra humanity in these places you frequent as uh, as far as just going to enjoy a beer, maybe get a little bit of appreciation for the people behind that great beer. In any event, thank you again to the artist formerly known as at Beer for Booper, and cheers to District 96 and Lock City Brewing for a solid co collaboration of a double IPA. One more sip and cheers. I'll see you next time.